I have already made a similar video from this. It's entitled 12 Best Investments for Millennials Under 100,000 Pesos. I'll put a link dun sa annotation dito sa right ng screen. And also, you could find it on the link down below. Okay, today we'll be talking about mutual funds and the basics of it and how you'll grow your money in this type of investment. I guess the first thing to ask is, what is a mutual fund? A mutual fund is a type of financial vehicle made up of a pool of money collected from many investors to invest in securities such as stocks, bonds, money market instruments, and other assets. Mutual funds are operated by professional money managers who allocate the funds and assets to attempt to produce capital gains or income for the fund's investor. So basically, pinagsama-sama yung mga money ng mga investors and there is a fund manager to manage yung money with the hopes of making gains for the investors. So to give you the maximum amount of knowledge with the least amount of time with regards sa mutual funds, let's just answer yung mga frequently asked questions about mutual funds. You can meet anyone na mayroong license uh, as an investment solicitor which is issued by the SEC and they usually represent yung mga mutual funds company natin here in the Philippines. So what they'll do is uh, they'll help you assess yung mga wants and needs mo, yung mga priorities mo with your investment and based from doon, uh, yun na, sila nang magbahala doon sa application mo for your mutual fund account and another is pwede ka mag-open ng COL account mo which is ano yun eh, online stock brokerage account so uh, ang maganda kasi sa kanila they allow you to have yung COL fund source which allows you to access yung mga mutual fund funds natin here in the Philippines so so yun sa mga ways that you could access or open mutual fund accounts I think there are now accounts that allows you to open for as low as a thousand pesos uh, so, parang di ba kung isipin mo, wala ka nang reason para to start investing. Pero ako, personally, I would like for someone to start with 5,000 para lang maging optimal yung start ng investment journey niya. Generally, there are three types of mutual funds. So, una doon is yung bond fund. So, saan ba niya lagay yung pera mo pagka sa bond fund ka nag-invest? So, usually sa mga government bonds, private bonds, sa mga treasury notes. And usually, these are for conservative investors. Yung time frame for investing in this is around uh, a year to three years of investment. Another is yung equity fund. So, basically, dito naman for aggressive investors to. So, yung time frame mo dito is from 5 to 10 years ng investing. Uh, sa nakalagay yung money mo? Yung money mo will be allocated sa mga publicly listed companies. Then, the third is yung uh, balance fund. So, basically, yung balance fund lang naman is yung mix ng equity and bond. So, usually, yung sa taas, yung equity, it's either 60-40 or 70-30. Pero, makita mo yun dun sa fund fact sheet ng uh, mutual fund mo. Isa pa that I would like to add is yung money market fund. So, ako, I would like to parang use this as an alternative sa savings account ko. So, yung excess, ha, excess money ng emergency fund ko, na instead na nakalagay sa savings account ko, I'll put it into uh, a money market fund para lang to, optimal, to optimize yung pag-gain ng money ko. So, how do you earn from mutual fund? So, basically, uh, ang unique na ginagamit natin when it comes to mutual fund is yung NABPS or net asset value per share. So, may mga shares per share share din to. So, kunwari, bumili ka ng equity fund ngayon and parang yung uh, NABPS mo, yung NAVS mo is at 1 peso. So, binili mo yun. Yun yung, um, yun yung amount, yun yung value ng equity fund na binili mo ngayon. So, parang uh, you would like to hold it for a certain amount of time. Let's say, let's say 5, 10 years. And may kita mo at that time na i mo na yung equity fund mo mga 10 pesos na siya. So, basically from 1 naging 10. So, doon. Parang doon mo may kita na tumaas yung value niya and pagka ni mo na yun, doon napapasok yung gain. So, dapat, uh, Pagka binili mo yung fund mo, it's at lower price and pagka i mo na siya, it is in a higher price. Ngayon naman, let's talk about your advantages of mutual funds compared sa ibang mga investment types. Una is yung low capital uh, investment. So yung isipin mo yung entry mo for investing in mutual fund, it could be as low as a thousand. So napaka mura nun uh, for investing. Another is yung high liquidity uh, compared sa ibang uh, ibang mga investment type kasi kunwari for, for a stock uh, meron kang stock nito and you would like to sell it na diba pagka walang nag bid dun sa stock mo 
hindi mo siya mabibenta. Unlike sa mutual fund, pag ganirigi mo siya, automatically, yung mutual fund, uh, talagang bibili nila yon at at the price ng NAVs na kung kailan mo sila niridim. Then, another is convenience. So, pwede mo nang gawin tong pag redeem and pag invest just over the internet. So, napaka-convenient nun. And another is diversification. Unlike, kunwari, bumili ka ng stock. So, pag nag-drop yung stock na yun, parang affected na affected ka. While, unlike sa equity fund, di ba? Kung titinan mo, equity or bond, parang nakaspread yung money mo through many stocks or through a lot of investments. I hope you learned something from this episode. I'll put links below dun sa mga articles and blogs na ginamit ko as a reference for this video. And again, uh, lalagay ko dun sa end ng screen nito yung link ng video ko na 12 best investments. It's almost similar to this video. Parang mas general lang siya, mas broad lang siya. Again, uh, hope you find this interesting. See you in the next weekend.